What's up guys, welcome back to the channel if you are not welcome to the channel Today we're going to watch three clips, comment down below what you think about it, let's get into it Wait, cause am I the only person that finds it very hard to admit to a man that I'm wrong? And arguing with men is the most annoying thing ever because you men use logic Like us women, we just want to argue with emotion but you men, you use too much logic, too many facts Like when you're arguing with a man, there is no emotion involved in their argument It's just you did A and B, which caused me to do C, and that's why I want that D. And I'm like, but, 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 because of the, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. And that's why I hate admitting to men that I'm wrong, because they spat so many facts at me that if I even admit I'm wrong, I'll just look so incompetent. Well, she's not wrong. The difference between men and women when we argue is that men argue with logic and women argue with emotion so they argue just to argue so men argue to come with a solution now, women have this opinion that men don't have the right to choose men just have to accept what women give us and that's it you have the right to wear what you want wear as much makeup as you want dress how you want put on as many tattoos as you want sleep with as many men as you want have as many kids by men that don't want to marry you you can do what Ever you want but what you cannot do is tell me i should accept you for who you are no i have standards you made decisions and if my standards do not meet the decisions that you've made we are not a match it's as simple as that i am allowed to choose the woman that i see fit to carry on my legacy but for some reason i'm toxic i'm misogynist when i don't want the woman that you have become please tell me how that makes sense subscribe let's have a discussion i agree with what he's saying the same way women have standards they're not just gonna date anybody it should be the same way for men if we say we don't need that, it's just that. That doesn't mean we're toxic. We all have a preference. Comment down below what you think about this video. I mean, this clip. I might work out, but this is truly on my spirit. I really want y'all to know, women are terrible fucking people. I don't care how nobody put it, flip it. And this is coming from a woman. Y'all are fucking terrible people. Men can be friends for years. They can have fallouts. They can do whatever. They gonna come back together. Bitches will literally not talk to you, bro. Because your motherfucking grandma died yesterday. You had to go to her funeral, bitch. And her casket fell over. So y'all had to get a whole nother casket. And this bitch gonna tell you we can't be friends no more because you didn't come to her birthday fucking dinner. Girl, kill yourself. Then bitches be feeling like they so entitled to trip talk to them all day long. I gotta check in with you, text you, call you, see how you doing, bitch. Be emotional support. Damn, am I fucking you, bitch? Or are we friends? Like, what the fuck? And then the thing that really get me is when you don't show up or you can't show up, it always be the bitch that's never there for nobody else that always got something to say about nobody not being there for her. And this bitch be talking about everybody. She be the worst fan out the group. Like, girl, don't nobody fucking care. Shut up. Uh, listen guys i don't know what to say to this one comment down below what you think about what you think about this one hey listen guys we gotta have goals and one of my goals for this year to hit the thousand and subscribe the only way i will get get there is when you guys hit the the subscribe button and listen i'm out